Hello everyone, this is Hugh. I have another reader question here from Jim. Um, Jim is asking, how do I use the number one and number two menus on the uh, Atuhuapa theme? So that, that did actually cause me a little confusion in the beginning, um, but I've figured it out and this is how you do it. So let's go into our dashboard and first of all let's go into categories here. I want to explain something really quick. Okay, so these are the categories that I have created. Just pretty generic names, category 1, 2, and 3. And I just want to show you that these are actually the tags. I mean, I'm sorry, not the tags, but these are, yes, these are the categories. And they show up down here. These categories could be for whatever you want. Um, you know, if you had a blog about photography, you could have um, black and white photos, color photos, abstract, or whatever. Those could be the categories, and that's your your primary um, way of organizing your content. Let's put it that way. So that's the category. Now, I'll let you know what a category is. I'm going to go to the menus. Um, so by default, Atuhualpa puts your pages up here and then it puts your categories down here and I actually took that um, that toolbar out or that menu bar out so let's put that back in we'll go to appearance Atuhualpatiba options and I think it, it's style and edit header area and in the first section configure header area we're gonna scroll down and as you can see um, the elements are logo pages bar one an image. So if we go back to our page, it's logo, which is this, um, pages, which is that. Do I have that right? Yeah, pages there. Um, bar one, as you can see, this little bar here, and the image, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to stick, uh, stick categories back in. So let's just put this at the end. And as you can see here, it's cats. So percent sign cats and then save okay so now let's go back to our website and let's refresh and see what happened okay there you go see now there's a little menu bar down here um, with the categories of the different posts um, as you can see there's an uncategorized post here uh, uncategorized category there I'm sorry and that is because these posts down here are in the uncategorized um, category. So also keep in mind too that if you don't see the category in this menu bar, um, there just may not be a post in that category. So in order for the category to show up, you have to create a post. Okay, so that's that's the default there. And um, I want you to keep in mind that at this point, Atuhuapo is controlling the menus, okay? But with WordPress 3.0, um, or starting from WordPress 3.0, they had this fancy menu system, and um, Atuhuapo is able to take care of that also. So let's uh, let's go in and let uh, WordPress take over this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Appearance and Menus, and this is the WordPress um, menu page. So as you can see there's no menu set up right now. So let's just uh create a menu. So we're gonna just call it main and this is gonna be the menu of pages. So we create the menu. Okay, so now as you can see the main tab was created here. So all we have to do is put in the pages that we want displayed in this menu. So we can select here. Um, since we don't have too many pages, we're just going to select them all. Then click on Add to Menu. Okay, so now they're all added. And uh, you can also add other elements here. Um, I think you can add things like categories and um, things like that. But I like to keep it clean and just keep the pages on one menu bar and the categories in the other menu bar. Um, one thing that you want to keep in mind here also is that you can move these around just like any other widget on um, in WordPress and that will 
rearrange the order. So as you can see, it's home blog about contacts. So we're going to save that. Okay, so it says the menu has been updated. So let's go back to our website, refresh, and it didn't work, obviously. So what went wrong? Um, as you can see in the theme locations box here, what we need to do is we need to change menu 1, which is this top menu here. This is menu 1, this is menu 2. So what we need to do is we need to identify menu 1 as the main. So once we select that, we save it, and there you go. So now when we refresh, the menu items move around. So now now it's home blog about contact, which is what we see here what we see here, home blog about contact. So um that's pretty straightforward and it's pretty similar with menu two. So if you wanted to create a, a new menu layout for menu two, you just click on this plus uh tab at the top and then you would name the new menu and then you would come down here to um put in your categories. You could select whichever categories you want. You could select them all or just one or two. Um, another nice feature you have here also is that you can create custom links. So you can also create a link that just goes to another web page and that can be a menu item also. Okay so now let's say that you added all these menu items and let's say you want to get rid of one of them. So what you do is you click on this down arrow here next to the one you want to get rid of. It will drop down a menu and uh, you can change things like the uh, navigation label, the title, the title attribute, and uh, it'll tell you what the original um, label was. And if you want to get rid of it, you just click on remove, and then it's gone. And if you want to add it back in, you just come back here, add to menu, and there it is. So now that you know what the number one and number two menus are, we can come back to the Atu Huapa theme options. And you'll see the menu one and menu two uh, menu items here. So let's click on menu one and we can look at all the attributes. Um, this is the pretty standard stuff, uh, depth of page menu bar, sorting order, um, the colors, and the uppercase and lowercase. So these are just more styling items. So if you want to just play around with these and see, you know, how how you can make that match your website. But um the same thing goes for the menu 2 and it's pretty straightforward. So that's that's how you can uh control the colors of these menu bars. The last thing I want to show you here is the uh nesting feature. Uh the reason why I like using the um the WordPress interface to control the menus is because you can do something like um, if you wanted to make a make contact a sub menu of about you would just drag it over like that and then you could save the menu okay menu has been updated so let's see how that works here okay so that's gone and when you mouse over about contact drops down okay so that does work uh, for this for this theme and as you can see, there's a down arrow there showing you that there is a sub menu. So that's how you do that. And that's pretty much it. That's the um, that's the way you control the menus in uh, WordPress 3.0 and higher. Uh, thanks for the question, Jim, and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.